Hello everyone and welcome. We are here for the March, uh, the month ahead for March and we thought uh, what better way to start off than being on the PC so we can go and jump into the live game currently with the update that came out yesterday, Deep Sea Fishing. I'm on Shawnee, being joined by Mod Ryan and Mod Iago or Mod Iago. Um, and we'll also be having uh, other mods join us throughout the stream so keep an eye out for that. We've got a lot to go through. Everyone's saying, is it so loud? Am I, am I just a loud person? <laughs> We'll look into it, guys. Hold on. Before I... Okay, I think we're good. We're trying new microphones. It's always good about production. Uh, we always like to try new things. Are we good now? I'll wait for the chat to catch up to make sure we're all good, and then we'll jump into it. <laughs> Alrighty. Sorry about that, everyone. Everyone is going to say... Or maybe I... Do you know what? Maybe I should just back away and just stop talking so loud. Maybe it's me. Uh, okay, there we go. Sorry, everyone. Uh, I think it was a combination of uh, me talking too loudly. So, yeah, maybe I'm just being a bit too eccentric. Anyway, um, as I just was really loud there, um, we're going to jump into this. Uh, deep sea fishing. So, first of all, before we go into it, update launch yesterday. How are you guys uh, feeling since it's gone down? Um, yeah, I think we're feeling overall, overall quite good about it. Yeah, it? there's some really nice things like uh, Brian's... Uh, tweet if you hadn't seen it already, just like hundreds and hundreds of people in one area. It was really great to see. Yeah, um, people seem to be enjoying it. So, so really, yeah. also, I think it was a tweet you did yesterday, wasn't it? It was just like a picture of yeah. like the uh, of one of the events that was on in there, and it was just so yeah, many players covered out. It was awesome. I was at home last night, and obviously one of the events spawned, and I was on the themed world, and I think I don't know, it's probably about three hundred people. I feel like there was that many just moving across the uh, decking. It was quite intense, but it's one of those like crazy but good moments where everyone's like not sure what's happening because of how many people are running everywhere but it was really nice to see awesome um i should mention obviously you mentioned the theme world so just a bit right, yeah. speed um what is the designated world for this the people ideally would engage with each other on for so this? we assigned world 116 um as the deep sea fishing world this used to be the fishing trawler world it's now the deep sea fishing themed world mainly because we didn't feel as efficient or needed a necessary yep. themed world but of course anyone that was using a fishing tool before still can um, it's just a sort of gateway into if you want to be there with other people and get involved in more of the events it's a great place to go for it awesome um, so should mention obviously um, go through this very quickly how can people um, get involved in this content so if they were to try and go on this and jump into the content right now how can they do that uh, so you need 68 fishing um, and then if you head to the fishing guild, you can talk to Guma. Um, he's just inside by a board, notice board and he'll, he'll take you to the uh, deep sea fishing hub. Alternatively, as you can now demonstrate. Oh, yes. Here we go. I think we need to talk up a little bit in the back, according to the chat. It's all right. As it goes on, we will just yeah. accentuate ourselves and go from a beer. We got a very nice, I love stuff like this. Handy little Paul stops us having to go into the fishing guild, go from there. So. Deep Sea Fishing Hub, which if you didn't know this and you have access to the Max Guild Garden, you can return your portal there, it'll take you right there. So do it. And we have a lot of people here already as we're going to just let this area load in because it is it is so awesome. Oh, goodness. All right. So a um, couple questions. So before we jump into some questions we're asked, like, first of all, one, like, how was it deciding where you were going to put everything around this hub? Uh, good question. Um... <laughs> I think it changed quite a lot from the beginning in terms of what we originally planned to do. Um, one of the original plans was to have it so that um, each week you sort of go to maybe a new fishing spot. Uh, however, with that in mind, we had concerns that, you know, as an example, if one week was sailfish and it wasn't sailfish the next week, it could be kind of frustrating because if you want to fish sailfish mm -hmm. today and you can't, um, those sorts of things. They went through various prototype stages and sort of ideas. Um, in terms of the layout now, to be honest, it's more, uh, it's a mod AOB question. Mm. Um, I said to him, you know, he's, he's the environment artist on the project. I said, give me a hub. Um, I need to put X number of spots around. I want to separate them so that, you know, they're not next to each other, things like that. And he sort of gave us this. So, so. good. It's so good. Like, I, I, I think this is one of the most perfect examples of what I believe we can do at NXT um, mm, in yeah. that sense, because... Obviously, if you look at this in Java compared to NXT, it's just absolutely <laughs> it's ridiculous. Horrible. Like NXT, I think, has allowed us to do such a, an incredible job of this. It looks so good. Um, the area itself is just amazing. So, uh, I'll jump into a couple of questions here. So, obviously, you know, we have our events and distractions and everything else that's going on. Everyone loves that whirlpool that literally allows you to money sink it in a sense. Mm -hmm. And people want to know stats. So, give us some of our sure. stats here. So, um, I spoke to some. 
uh, Mod, ooh, is it Mod Lottie? Yeah, Mod Lottie, mm -hmm. and asked um, how much how much gold or coins have been thrown into the whirlpool since the update, which was uh, 2 p.m. yesterday. Um, from 2 p.m. until midnight, so 10 hours, there was 56 billion <laughs> gold Jesus. thrown into that whirlpool, um, where seven players threw at least five billion in each. And overall, there was at least 15 players who threw in over a billion. So seven people threw in the equivalent of the last title. Is yeah, that the correct? Yeah, the title. billionaire. My goodness, this is. I mean, so no, I was actually going to do a bit of gameplay, but I'll be honest with you. I just love seeing the visual of everyone. Clue the pet, uh, the clue dog, uh, blue the clue dog there, which is really awesome. I just love seeing everyone just run around and everything. It's so so cool. Um, so a ridiculous amount of money already. Mm -hmm. um, the merchants that appears. Yes. Um, so. Much to the surprise of some people, they thought it was going to be the same loot that yeah, they could buy nope. today as it was yesterday. It obviously changes up. Is it a different loot every single day, or is it on a rotation? You want to answer? Um, I won't. Okay, you know, so no we, spoilers we, in that yeah, sense, but well, you know. Don't want to give spoilers away. There's quite a few items. There's some which are obviously rarer than others. Some which cost probably what might seem at the start quite a high value, but most of them are worth it. Um, yeah, you can. Do it once a day. Um, yeah, I mean, you're sat in the FC, I don't know. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, the FC's not but up But the there's moment, an but FC there for you if you want to see when the, uh, they usually call it out when the uh, merchant spawns. Mm -hmm. So There's, um, but yeah, in terms of rotation, um, I have on my PC a list of like the next thousand days. Um, so I know what's going up. But um, there is no pattern necessarily yeah. and even if there is you know you're looking for a long time before you realize um but yeah it's it's pretty random as as the argo said there is a lot of there are most of the items are the obvious things that you're currently seeing yeah. um but they are all sort of untradeable items that's kind of what the shop is um and some things are at and kind of obscene price but it's it's the point in which if you want to get it now you can just spend coins on it so it's, it's actually the first reward shop we've had that uses coins so someone said um I was wearing a Luck of the Dwarfs, why is that? Why, why am it, I wearing a Luck of the Dwarfs? It doesn't do anything with the merchant. No, not oh, with the merchant, but just, oh, right. sorry, okay, just, yeah, in, yeah sorry, apologies. Well, so. So, yeah, um, is something like the Luck Ring useful here? Uh, yeah, for Clue Scrolls. That's about it. Yes, yeah, so that's about I haven't got a single, yeah. my other half got a Clue Scroll here, so I haven't, I haven't got a single one yet, so I'm a little salty, because I've been trying to hammer out Elite Clue Scrolls mm -hmm. so much along with this, so. Trying to get them in tandem. People are asking, obviously, about Tavia's rods. Uh, I feel like, sure. yeah, it's something we have to talk about, but obviously I leave the, the floor to you in deciding how much you want to talk about this. Um, so, I'm not really going to say anything in regards to it. It is what people have posted on Reddit. It's another item in sort of what we have been calling hero items. Um, so we have Hazelmere's signet ring, um, Orlando's hat. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. This is the third, and some players posted about who is Tavia, which is a good thing to clear up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she didn't exist until this update, um, in, in terms of like being mentioned in game, and it's mainly because you know we don't actually have that many iconic sort of fishermen, fishermen or fisherwomen uh, in game. Um, there is some story behind her; you can find it somehow, which I can't Somewhere. talk about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> once, once someone. And, I mean, I can't really say much, but once there is a rod in game, um, there'll be other stuff realised, I guess. Yeah. Realistically, how soon do you reckon we'll see the first rod in game? Couldn't tell you. What would you hope there to be? I'd hope there's this one week. this week. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But yeah, it, it it kind of follows suit in the sense that like it is purposely rare. Um, that's not to say it needs to stay that way. Um, you know, when when looking at something like this, we we usually on release want to make sure that it's definitely rare. Um, mm -hmm. But I think Timbo did this with Hazelmere's, and you know, after a f the first few weeks, realize it's way too rare. Yeah. Um, there's a similar aspect that we would look into, but of course, it's only day two now. Yeah. It, the updates only we'll been out just over 24 hours. And if we so. feel it needs making slightly more common or more rare, we will adjust it appropriately. So, um, obviously, talk about so right there, that sound, like that's a feedback discussion point. How do you guys determine, since the release yesterday, what is the right stuff to focus on and stuff like that from a feedback perspective? Uh, to be honest, uh, well, we've got obvious things which we'll wait for the stats to come in. Yep. And once the stats tell us, we know what we need to change and what we don't. There's other things which are pretty obvious. Like, um, if you mouse over a fishing spot, it doesn't have the nice little fishing icon. 
why wouldn't we change that? So they'll be in for next week, hopefully. Um, There's a lot of uh, worth mentioning as well. There's just like, it's sort of a general process of an update. You know, once it goes out, we sort of monitor it. I've been logging in occasionally today, mainly on the themed world, seeing what people are up to, um, seeing people's sort of concerns. Um, there's just some stuff like what Iago just said um, and other things like we we are obviously fixing the, the core issues that we yeah. may have forgot. You know, Porters was an issue on release. Um, similarly, there is no Sailfish uh, calorie bomb. I fixed all that now, so hopefully that'll be in next week. Yep. Um, but yeah, we're just looking at general cleanup, really. There's also a lot of questions about the FC name. I yeah. don't actually know it. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so I'll um, I'll come out this camera. I've just pressed M1. I'm a little scared macros are going to kick in on this keyboard. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, um, so yeah, you can see uh, FC we're in is called uh, Whirlpool, Whirl, Whirlpool d and um, I believe they're kicking people in the lobby right now. So um, there are other FCs, obviously, that people have made for this. That's why I love uh, as well about updates like this, is that um, specific uh, French chats get made to try and obviously communicate when certain events are happening. And yep. this is obviously a perfect example of it right here. Yeah, I mean, the update was, you know, we went into this, you're planning many things. Yep. Um, is a good example of some of the stuff we want to do in regards to skilling over the next few years. Um, in fact, it's got like a lot of varying things. Um, excuse my pun, but we were testing the waters with a lot of things. <laughs> um, genuinely, like just like seeing, you know, intensive fishing. The fishing frenzy is very intensive. You know, it's probably on the end of we wouldn't yeah. look to make everything like that. Um, it's probably our most intensive skilling. Um, method of skilling yes. in-game, I think. Yeah, so obviously, let's talk about intensive skilling. Sure. I mean, I think this is the perfect area to talk about, right? Is that correct? With Fish and Frenzy? Yeah. yeah. So, um, I mean, in a nutshell, can you kind of summarize, obviously, for people who are not aware of it, you know, how it works and, you know, how you can best benefit from sure. it? Sure. Um, so, yeah, this is... Uh, we've spoken about this quite a lot, actually. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's just a sort of mini activity in which you I interact with these fish. You're flinging them out of the water, in short. Um, it's different to obviously your core fishing where you click and you wait for the fishing spot to move. Mm -hmm. In this sense, the fishing spots all stay in the same place. You kind of have to make the fishing spot vanish. Um, so as you're fishing and flinging the fish out, um, you have a streak that keep that you're keeping track of. Um, and if you stop fishing for a short period of time, you lose your streak. Uh, some of the feedback we got was that you lose the streak too fast. So, I mean, currently it's set so that when the moment in which you actually fling a fish out of the water is when your streak sort of refreshes itself. Yep. Um, we are looking to change this, as far as I'm aware, yeah. um, so that the moment in which you touch a fishing spot, your streak refreshes. Uh, this means that if you did misclick and then the moment you click back on a fishing spot, as long as you did it in time, you'd refresh. Yeah. I think it's about six seconds. 11 cycles, so yeah, yeah. just over six seconds. So yeah, it's, um, so what are we looking at in regards to rates here then? So this, I, I guess, is obviously because of its intensity, obviously, yeah. the, the be is it the best fishing XP in the game? It is the best fishing XP. Okay. I know there's been some um, concerns or just questions raised about its intensity for something like Wobbegongs, but this is the best. And after a 20 streak, 20% uh, bonus um, from getting your streak to 200, you are looking at over 400k XP an hour. So and that's with the basic boosts. You don't have the additional costs of things like skill chompers and so on. So every 10 fish is 1%. Is that correct? Is that correct? Is that right? Is it 10? Yes. Yes. 10, 10 is 1, yes. Uh, so hopefully I'll hit 10 now. So there we go, I've got 10. So now I've got uh, essentially a 1% increase, as you can see by the bonus XP there on the brackets. Um, so, I mean, I'm going to come to you, Iago. Like, how. How does it like? How are you able to? What's the process in essentially balancing something like this? Now, numbers wise, and everything else. <laughs> um, balancing does take quite a while. We have like a lot of spreadsheets which pull a lot of information we need in, um, and they give us base rates, and then we know what our modifiers and the numbers. So we can get, which is quite good for fishing, is can get a lot of numbers without actually doing it. Um, not, not obviously. Uh, this because this is quite different to standard fishing mm -hmm. um, so yeah a lot of we still do time trials um, on other things even though we have like spreadsheets and stuff to pull those numbers through but so cool seeing all the fit look at that yeah. so, that is such an incredible visual really it's so awesome uh, oh, you, have you got a quick chat for your high streak? Yeah, yes. you can oh, quick wow. chat high streak. Yeah. I'm going to quick chat mine because that was my host just then. <laughs> I haven't touched fish and frenzy yet. Right. Yikes. Also worth noting that there's the two uh, fish and frenzy distractions. I okay. don't know. I haven't seen them come up much, but I know players would have interacted with them by now. 
Um, one is a streak builder, so when you see it, you, you constantly click it and your streak goes up pretty fast. And the other ones, it lasts for a uh, minute. A minute sounds minute. reasonable, yeah. And that's just more AFK. You click on it, you get the XP drops, and it's just a slight breather. So just clarify, there are a total of three buffs you can get here, is that correct? Yeah, the whole heart, um, yeah. Which are? 5% um, XP increase to a chance to gain an additional catch. I think it's 10% chance. Mm -hmm. um, and 10% chance to increase catch rate. Yeah, that's fine. Um, they're, they're three buffs. They're available from various little items you can pick up while fishing. Um, and each of the like core encounters yeah. Um, give one, so like the whale gives one of those, the sea monster gives another, and then the jellyfish give the third. I can't remember which ones they specifically give. I know it's on the players have seen it as well, but obviously that's <sighs> one of the effects of the rock Rinner as well. trees, really? It's Sorry, got thrown off by someone using the rinner Sorry. trees. Ugh. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I mean, you know, I've, I've looked at the chat during this conversation. Um, Fishing Frenzy currently is the best. In in comparison to, you know, in the chat they were comparing it to other things, Waterfall, Wobby Guns, yes. etc. And in terms of effort, um, as we said, like, this is on the extreme end of, like, intensity. It's it's not much, you know, there is a gap between this and Wobby Guns, but it's not an entirely giant gap, um, as an example. But it's not to say that, you know, we don't think that... We, we wouldn't want to make the XP like you know 800k like yeah. that's excessive it's yeah. extremely excessive and we're not looking to make you know fishing 800k an hour right now like that's just not something we plan to be doing um, obviously as Ryan said we are testing the waters and um, <laughs> you can't reuse my <laughs> oh jeez sure. um, and yeah it is like one of the most intensive things we probably Based on feedback, we might not make it as a new method for new skill as intensive as intensive as this, but um, yeah. I think overall, genuinely, is uh, it, I don't know. I just can't get over the. I just love the visuals of just seeing everyone getting involved in activities and just seeing how many players get together in this hub. Obviously, I assume that's what you're going for in the in the approach of this, and it's yeah, pretty awesome to I'm, see it. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, you know, the idea is it's a fishing hub, so we want people grouping up. You know, that's why we also added a themed world. Um, the idea of like the encounters is a good one that to talk about because it's one of my favorite is the sort of idea that we want to take you away you know if you're fishing and you want to be fishing we want to give you a reason to stop fishing but for something that is still related to what you're doing yeah. like fishing it's not like we we want you to stop fishing to run to the other side of the world to go and do something else it's the idea that you're fishing and hey look something big interactive happens within the skill get involved on that and then go back to what you're doing um, and yeah, I mean, you know, yesterday after the update went out, um, Iago and I were on different worlds, and yeah. we were all just waiting for the first encounter to spawn. And the moment his spawned, I like rolled my chair over, and we just watched the, just the amount of people that swarmed to the middle. It was great. I was like, did you make like? I remember that there was a noise you made across the office, wasn't there? When it happened, <laughs> I think I shouted. Yeah, I, think, I think you did shout. I, I do something. recall hearing something, and then you put a message in the chat about it. Oh man! But yeah, that was really nice to see. It's, it's just yeah. like seeing this many people interacting with. Content. Yeah, it's great. and like. Just seeing people sort of realise that um, you know something crazy is happening, they're not sure. It's, it's, it's just not what you're used to. Um, obviously, after a couple of weeks or days, um, people will know specifically yeah. what to do. Yeah. And these are, you know, these events are pretty random, uh, which was purposely done so that you know you're not waiting like an enriched wisp. You know, you're not waiting until 20 past the hour to know when it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You are just fishing, talking, doing whatever you're doing, and then suddenly, you know, yeah. the screen goes dark and something happens. So, just to clarify, obviously, when anti Greek goes in here, I'm assuming we won't see yeah. stuff like that. Okay, so, cool. So, yeah, I added um, today, which we'll hopefully got next week, awesome. um, the mapped a bunch of anti grief related stuff, so we won't be able to, you know, banners, cannons, ring of trees, <laughs> those sorts of things won't be uh, awesome. possible to put down here, but it's great that they do it using their, uh, <laughs> using them now. Yeah, using them while they can. I love that ring. Oh, well, the rinner trees. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Um, we're not, by the way, just clarify, someone said stop deflecting Batavia's fishing rod. You might have joined the stream a little late. We kind of touched upon it earlier, but um, if you missed it, the idea is basically once someone discovers the first rod, we'll start to slowly release more information. There, there are it. some people that know how to get it. Okay. But they're us. So. Oh, right. Okay. I was going to say, like, wait, what? Uh, so, yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, so, apart from that, um, is there anything else you guys want to say before I head over to the couch? Um, 
I mean, if you haven't jumped in, by all means, it'd be great if you could, you know, have a look around, see what you think, and let us know if you have any yeah. additional feedback, sort of addressing various things this week, aiming to get it all out in one sort of go next week, uh, just clean up a bunch of stuff. Um, but yeah, hopefully, you know, if you take this apart into the little segments that, you know, that the hub offers you, you know, some are GP methods, sort of intensive, some aren't, it'd be good to know what people are actually really enjoying and what pe things people have issues with because we want to learn from this and put yeah. this into other yeah. skills. Um, Add in some so, yeah. mechanics like catching jellyfish with the electrified, the stacks and so on. I mean, yeah, it seems like players are enjoying it. If you're not, then let us know. You can tweet us us or put it on Reddit. Shawnee will probably find that. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, I think you guys have smashed it. Like, you know, I, we had a conversation. Oh, I have one thing oh, actually on. just reminded me. Whoever is doing this, I'm just going to give you some advice, but apparently there is a 1,100 burnt sailfish in the game, and it requires 99 cooking to fish, uh, sorry, to cook, and at 99 you have a cooking skill cake which gives you the ability to no longer burn food. So someone out there or a group of people are burning sailfish, so top tip, put your skill cape on and then you won't burn them anymore. What? There we go. Uh, yeah, that is as solid as advice as any right there. And if you're a premium member, Go and get your free bottle boost. So gold premium. Okay, actually, yep. so actually, I actually haven't yeah, done that. So done. let's go. Let's go do that now. Although I preferably don't want to use it now because it'll be a complete waste for me. Or is there an item? Bank there. Bank there. Nice in front of you. Uh, do I need space? By the jellyfish. No, I just figured you're going to teleport. You have luck with the dwarves on just G. Oh right, I thought I, I thought I split to the person here. Well, right, so you speed to you've got to go to the G to do this. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, let's do this now. Just before we end it. So yeah, if you, have a goal, if you are a gold Premier Club member, then you'll be able to benefit from uh, one. I presume it's one of three boosts. Uh, or is yes, it? You get it's to pick one yeah, boost, okay. and you get to pick. All right, where am I going? Uh, on the left, Guardian. Guardian at the pole. Guardian right, the claim. Claim. Then... Alrighty, go for it. Go on, space Just my give conversation. Give me my item. Right, click it. You find you won't activate it, and if you do, then it will. There you go. If so you, you do, then oh wow, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, there we go. So I get one of these because I'm a gold Club member for an hour, mm -hmm. um, whichever yeah, one that may be. Use it once, you consume it, and that's yeah. it. Um, the item. Well, on the left handy for left. Also shows you the item on the like the image that's shown. These are the sorts of items you can find when fishing in the deep sea as well. Um, they give a similar boost, just not for an hour. Oh yeah, because yeah. I believe you could buy the barrel yesterday, right? Yeah. From, from the, the yeah. So you can okay, get awesome. it from the merchant, and you can get them from fishing. Awesome. All right. So there you go. One nice way to end it. Good. Well, well remembered, Yago. Good stuff. Um, all right. As everyone else just comes to join in, I think there's uh, a, couldn't be any more of a better time to get ready to jump over to the couch because we're going to talk some more mods. But apart from that, thank you so much, guys. I think it's been absolutely amazing and uh, hope you're all enjoying it as well. So uh, let's jump over to the couch now. Go join them in just a moment. Goodbye. <laughs> ah, ah, now i got to run. Uh, uh, uh. Totally in front of the camera, like a pro. Oh my yeah. god, Is the mic on? I presume the mic's on. Yeah, the mic's on. That's good. Alrighty, so... Um, I left the iPad. I'm great. I've left the <laughs> iPad over there. Sorry. <laughs> I had to rush over. Alright, so... What I can remember is that we have a special lootscape for today, which is related to clue scrolls. Um, so depending on your total level, is that correct? Just to clarify. Yeah. Depending on your total level, if you get Lootscape at the end of the stream, um, you will get a clue scroll. If you get an elite clue scroll, um, there is a chance that it can become a master clue scroll. So there is a chance you might get a master clue scroll at the end of the stream, which is pretty hype. So on the couch me right now, to my left, Mod Ramen, Mod KOC, and Mod Raven. Yeah. So let us jump to this match. Is Pieces of hate hype. I am very excited for this. Let's get question. So uh, <laughs> yes, let's get question indeed. First quest get your of rum on. First quest of 2018. Is that correct? Off the top uh, of my head. Uh, Did you say 2018. Uh, no, no, November. 2007. November. November. Oh, wow. Yes. That's gone by. So maybe. Yes. So, first yeah, quest 2018. Right. Not including end game replayability, of course. No. So um, all right, let's jump into this. We got a lot of questions. Before I do this, though, uh, in a nutshell, can you kind of sell pieces of hate. Ooh. What can people can expect? Uh, so, Pieces of Hate is the end of the Fifth Age uh, pirate questline. Uh, Rabid Jack is uh, taking the fight to Mosty Harmless. Um, there will be pirates, there will be zombies, there will be zombies who are also pirates. Uh, there will be pirate zombies who are in barrels. Um, you got rum. you got ru rum. Um, you've got... Cramps. Terrible, terrible puns. Horrible puns. Awful jokes. Yep. 
So uh, written by titterers. written by you and Moderali, is that correct? Uh, yes. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, you can you definitely brace yourself. I've a few in there. Yeah, they're there's... not good either. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! So if, um, before I jump into these questions, how has it been testing the project from a QA perspective? Um, it's been interesting in terms of making a quest. I've not been on a quest in quite a while. It's the last one you've been on, uh, if you can remember. What was the last quest that I worked on? It might have been Dishonor Among Thieves. There might have been one since then. It was a while ago anyway, I know that much. Wow. Um, yeah. yeah, the team dynamic has changed a couple of times since then, I think. <laughs> um, so it's kind of been iterative from design stage, kind of because we've been building it in acts and kind of yeah. doing a five act structure. Um, it's kind of been focused on certain areas and because they're not all in order, but it's kind of focused on one area in particular. And then you kind of stitch it all together at the end. And oh, here's a nice flow now. And everything makes sense now. Well, well. we're given value of <laughs> sense. I had um, um, Mod Osborne playing through the uh, the early section and just went, why? Why? <laughs> why, Raven, why? And this Which, is like, what, one-fifth of the original design <laughs> where it was just over the yeah, top it and it would have taken about 10 hours. And, and, then, yeah. and then we scaled it down. There has never been a quest that I believe Dave has ever done um, where he has always said that. He has always said, why, Raven, why? I've heard him every quest I, you've it's done. different reasons this time. Previously, it was because I was trying to murder children <laughs> and Jesus. bring actual torture into the game. Those <laughs> those caught in the same way. But this this is purely from a gameplay point of view. And he didn't... We're, we're trying to move. keep in the spirit of the rest of the series, I, right? We're following yeah, the we've, tone. We've, and it's hopefully very faithful to the tone of the... Particularly just um, just, the just not quite as horribly awful to play. G yeah. Genuinely, one of my favourite quests um, until uh, Endgame as well as... Um, Evil Dave. Sure, <laughs> Evil Dave. <laughs> um, and uh, I can't... Uh, children, children of Mar? Yeah. Is that what's called Children of Mar? Yeah, children, I absolutely love Children of Mar. Um, was Rum Deal. I actually I genuinely really enjoyed Rum Deal. Yeah, okay. um, I don't know, just from a goofy humour perspective, it was just really awesome in that sense. I mean, hopefully there's enough goofy humour. Oh, you know there was. Remember the playtest when I was sending you oh, pictures yes. of you, the You were chat. screaming. I was, I was enjoying it. You just sent it. me pictures of the dialogue just going, what? <laughs> <laughs> this, this insert character name here is you, isn't it? Yes. You know, that kind of thing. You can just tell straight away. That tree of options near the start. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, many options, actually. All right, so let's jump into some questions people have asked. Um, as Pieces of Hate and the updates to Cave Horrors focus on Mosler Harmless, why were both the island and in particular the dungeon omitted from graphical updates? Uh, so we only have a limited amount of graphical budget. Like, this is just realism. Like, we can't magically... Uh, find the time out of nowhere and it was where we could spend that time mm -hmm. and we couldn't afford to upgrade like the fully Mosler Harmless and uh, all those dungeons and still produce a quest slash probably deep sea fishing to be fair it would have eaten too much of the uh, the time and we looked at it and kind of went it's also that thing of like one of the things we've tried to do with the pirate quest is to keep the um, some of that sort of nostalgic feel um, and some of that would be lost with a complete graphical change. Yep. So it helps to keep keep some of it. We have upgraded a bunch of things. There's some nice graphics in there. Yeah, we've it's just Mosley Harmless itself doesn't look... We focus changed. mostly on the new area. And yeah. We've made tweaks and changes here. So uh, spoilers, you go to Brain Death Island again. Um, <laughs> so I was just like, let's take these palm tree models from arc i think yeah mm. just like we'll just swap those out and yeah. it makes such a difference we've done some like, little tweaks here and there but not a full rework i should mention um should mention obviously that um from a monster perspective though there has been graphical work right not oh, monster sorry not monster but i mean like the characters oh yes yes there are some cool characters because i believe obviously as months have gone on we have shown some of them as well um, uh we've shown Migo, who looks amazing yes little <laughs> that little animation hands. of the hand i love that <laughs> it's so good uh barrel chest to look fantastic um, and of course, you know, we've, we upgraded some of the pirate captains. Yep. All of, all of the key characters. Yeah. All pirate the key captains. Characters. And that's obviously the big intervention. Obviously there were there might not have been environmental updates, but there are, have obviously been updated oh, yeah, through those characters. characters have been updated. Yeah. yeah. And they, we, we've kept that kind of feel of the old characters, just modernized it a bit. Cool. Uh, will the quest be set in the sixth age or the fifth age? Fifth age. Fifth age. And this is the end of the fifth age pirate series. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, can we get a confirmed alive or dead on Gentleman Mallard, the guy, the chap who led the fight against Rabbit Jack years ago? Uh, he's dead, isn't you he? You should so play the quest, and if you see him, <laughs> he's, he's not alive. dead. <laughs> if you don't see him, 
then he is he's dead. dead. Right. And also, if you see him, he's undead. He's he's oh, very good. I think, well he's, I think he's dead, but that's not necessarily the same as gone. Uh, True. It's fair. Uh, will Rabbit Jack have more of a presence in Peace of Hate other than just sitting idly waiting to be a boss encounter? I think so. Yeah. I mean, so we are using him a bit as a kind of existential threat. Um, but uh, yeah, you, he is in it. He's all. very much the big bad. Yeah. Throughout. Uh, will the black masks the players can wear be updated along with the cave horrors? They are graphically updated. Yeah, they match the cave horrors model. Nice. Um, oh, actually, I'm not too sure, because the question isn't actually in here. Um, I want to talk about those abilities that were mentioned in the video. The combat okay. abilities. Yeah, can we yep. talk about them very quickly? Sure. So what can we expect with these, just out of curiosity? Um, so they are functionally kick and stomp, which is the knockback melee abilities. Um, mainly it's because we've got a bit of a gap in the low end for mage and range, so yep. we're dropping a few more in there. Um, as a result, I think we lowered the requirements of a couple of the existing abilities so that people unlock them naturally as a new player and you fill out your action bar a little bit quicker too. Um, uh, sorry. So you get these from Unspeakable Horrors, which are the new monster, yep. which count as normal slayer, uh, count as cave horrors for the slayer task and everything else. But they're a bit tougher and they've got better drops. Um, are the abilities tradable? So the uh, yeah the abilities are dropped from a codex which nice. unlocks all four of them at once. Oh, okay, nice. Um, so it's not individual unlocks. Yeah, nice. Okay. Uh, it's tradable and free play can use it as well. So if you if you're free play, you can buy it FGE and get some cool new abilities. Nice. Um, will XX parrots get added to the pet interface along with the quest release? We uh, haven't touched those at no, all. We so haven't. No, we haven't. No, uh, who wrote the most puns into the quest and examines? Uh, I think to be is that, I mean, we wrote a lot of silly stuff. But in terms of puns, I think Roly might have the edge. Maybe. I, th I mean, I wrote a bunch of stupid stuff. You've got a lot of the stupid jokes. I have a lot of stupid <laughs> jokes, but not specifically puns. Roly and I put a lot of stupid things in another rolling thing that's later on. Yeah. There are. There's a few of those. There's a few. You might say. Yeah. We've tried to maintain the, um, the sort of comedic feel so it's it's it, that sort of pirate thing of uh, sorry. serious ish serious ish story all the way through but we've but interlaced we've with interlaced stupid with jokes and that kind of, uh -huh. um yeah we've tried to capture the feel of the pirate quest awesome um any thoughts to add in a slayer task oh excuse me a slayer task so players can kill rum pumped crabs rock crabs rock lobsters and crassians all under one umbrella task we haven't thought about that at all. We've been too busy doing the quest. <laughs> it's fair. Sounds like a ninja fix. Ah, yeah, it's definitely something uh, for ninja to have a look at. Uh, what's the rationale behind the new abilities coming with Peace of Hate quest when homogenization between the combat abilities was to be avoided? Um, so, again, it's more we need to fill out low end. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to, well, we still need to do that even on top of that. Uh, that's going to take some design work and some time to do. And it's a nice thing to combo with a few other things. Like we've got frag shot and combust, which you can kind of sort out by stepping underneath the monster, but it's awkward. Yeah, it's also worth pointing out because the way you worded the question of they're not coming with pieces of hate. Uh, they're coming with a horror update and will be available. They're not quest locked. Yeah, so uh, horror update, I think it's safe to say, is coming before piece of hate. Horror is, yeah, it's a small little graphical change. Yeah, in a um, Graphical in rework, it's drop tables, yeah. it's the new abilities. So you can get them in time for pieces of hate. Yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, requirements. Yes, it has I requirements. These. So I, I'm not sure. I don't expect you to remember them. I don't um, remember they were mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> 81 construction, 82 fire making, 83. I, I seem to know it's a pattern here. Agility, 85 thieving. I think it's that order. I could be wrong. Um, All of these could be correct or wrong. I don't yeah. remember. It was um, mentioned in the BTS, though. <laughs> I know that. Cat. And obviously Clockwork Syringe, because yes. it's the precursor. Um, that's the it, I think. Awesome. Right, well, I presume we can't specifically say when in March it's coming out, but we can definitely say it's coming out in March, right? Yes, it's coming out in March. Oh, have, this is exciting stuff. Um, yes, uh, I, I suppose um, this isn't on the script, so I apologise for going off script. Oof. Um, yeah. How dare you? <laughs> what do you... Um, uh, what do you... Oh, oh God. 
words are failing me. Um, how was it to go, first of all, in your, because you have always been, in my mind, working on quests, working on quests, working on quests, I mean, right? I haven't, but I, no, I've but, done a lot of quests. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. when quests you look at the mind. releases to the game mm -hmm. in the last two years, so I've been in the team for two years, right? Mm -hmm. I've seen you release, I believe, five quests off the top of my head. Uh, Maybe. Kindred Spirits, Nomad's Elegy, Endgame, Pieces of Hate, and there, I swear there's one more, maybe not, but uh, regardless. Um, Tales of Nomad, does that count? I mean, that can kind of count, it's yeah. been a game, right? Um, so, what next for you and your team? Oh, uh, we... Obviously, I no can't say too here. much, of course. at the moment we're working on um, something small before something bigger. Uh, we're not actually, currently, it may change, uh, looking at um, uh, full-on quest content, we're uh, taking a break from quest after a piece of hate just to do something. Um, I think skilling is what we're looking at next. Um, yep. But I can't say anything more than that because we don't have anything written down on paper. That's fair. <coughs> just wondering uh, what you guys are going to be working on and making awesome next. It should be cool. The thing we have planned should be cool, but oh. it's uh, also subject to change. Hmm? What is it? <laughs> I'm not saying. <laughs> Wait, I think ask, I may have mentioned afterwards. it out loud. If not, I can tell you off stream. Off stream. <laughs> I don't think you've mentioned it. <laughs> but I'm not telling the stream. I'm pretty sure you haven't mentioned it out loud, but well, maybe okay, I missed then. it. Uh, I think we're okay in that regard. Uh, and one last thing, uh, KOC, just before we go to Raman. Um, sure. How was it in regards to QA? Uh, so I kind of asked earlier, you know, how was it to QA in it? But in regards to quest, a quest itself, I mean, anything humorous has come up from a bug perspective? Um, it's been fairly standard for bugs, I think. Like, nothing, oh, nothing super humorous? outlandish. Ugh. Um, there hasn't been any like major major ones either. We've just had lots of like little bits and pieces, which is less interesting. But oh. in, in, think of, like, it's silly it's nice because we're not running around at the last minute stressing, trying to rip our hair out, trying to get everything finished. Um, <laughs> invention too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, no props props to those guys. Invention was a tough project, and we uh, I think. Um, it went down really well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, go it's gone really well. I'm really happy with it. I think you're really happy with it. Mod Rolly's really happy with it. So yeah, can't complain really. Awesome. Well, that's the main thing. So once you guys are happy with it, I think it's going to go down. I I'm looking forward to seeing the random posts coming up of like the dialogue that people I'm, find. I'm hoping so. I'm, hope I'm, I'm intrigued to see what of the random things they find. <laughs> there are a few silly easter eggy things including so of course there are easter eggs yes go on including one non-canon use for the feather of armadale <laughs> what a surprise that you've added a non-canon use in a quest raven <laughs> it's like your go-to isn't it oh it's so bad i'm sorry oh <laughs> boy you're not. you're not sorry i'm not you even keep, a little bit sorry keep doing. i'm unreasonably proud of this really stupid thing. <laughs> wouldn't be a raven quest without some sort of easter eggs in there would there Oh dear. I mean, there might be a Raven Swan. Um, of course. Drag or two in there. I didn't even have to say it because it's just, it's like compulsory now that any bit of content you have has Raven Swan in it. I mean, not all of them, just Wait, I mean, almost all of them. I, mean, I can think of two immediately. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. So uh, let us come over to my ramen. We have uh, quite a bit to go through on this. So, first of all, um, I'm not going to talk about Salak first because I'm that kind of guy who wants to leave it to the last bit to talk okay, about with you. Cool. So but about are you right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> long, uh, long day. Long day. Uh, yeah, I can tell. Uh, group Iron Man. Um, do we have any news or updates on Group Iron Man? Um, I, you should have started with Salak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, Group Iron Man, I am now doing it uh, alongside Salak. Oh, okay. Um, so I have a holiday coming up, but it will be starting basically in the next week or two. Um, super duper in planning, super nice. duper stressing. <laughs> uh, it's a very technical project and I'm more, I'm the dev more on the creative side. Uh, so I've got to learn the, the technical side. Um, clan system, you know clan <laughs> Clans, <laughs> oh um, boy. It's easy, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, never, I've never had to work with clans, but <laughs> no. Um, we've decided on numbers, I don't want to Say numbers uh, about group sizes, just yep. in case, just in case it changes. Uh, design documents are all have all gone round, uh, discussing kind of things we'd really like to have, like the Iron Man Guild. You know, bring Mr. X from there, put plonk all the Iron Man stuff in the Iron Man Guild. You know, you'd have the clan leaderboards, uh, not clan leaderboards. What am I on about? 
group, you'd have the, the leaderboard in Edgeville where you click it and it says who got what. Oh, so the hacker, the Iron Man leaderboard, yeah. The plaque um, that uh, Eastie made, I believe. Yeah. Uh, changes to like the Book of Death or whatever it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Not yep. the Book of Death. The jar. The jar, um, yes. And the, the coins. Uh, changes to that. Bring it all into one centralized location and making sure Group Iron Man, when it goes out, is as complete and full as it can be. Um, engine jobs are all ongoing, which is awesome. So, update, hopefully, it, like a lot of people say, uh, have expressed concerns that it's happening after the bank rework or after mining and smithing or next year. It's like, that's not true. Um, it's happening this year. It's just we've, we've, really, we've hit some, we've hit some um, bumps in the road along the way. And like, I kind of want, I'm trying to, I want you to understand that it's, it's kind of out of our control. We're trying to get it to you as fast as, you, as we can. We don't want to release something to you that's not complete, uh, yep. not working. Um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at with it. Cool. Uh, it's happening. <laughs> Just patience. I know a lot of people want it. A lot of people. <laughs> um, right. Really Come on. Let's, let's go on to the main topic for you then. Obviously, Solak. So, um, you had a play test today, correct? Yes. How was it? Not as good as last week. Okay. Um, uh, were you at last week? No, last week? I wasn't there, unfortunately. Uh, I was at uh, the Clue Scrolls release. Last week's playthrough went super, super well. Uh, walked away with it, like, really, really happy. Um, usually with my own content, I'm very self-doubting. I'm yeah. always like, oh, it's never good enough. Is it good enough? Is it good enough? <laughs> is it good enough? It's like, so I walked away last week, and I was like, I was super happy. I was like, yep, this is, this is going to be a hit. Um, fixed up uh, bugs from that playtest, came into today's playtest, and just a couple of things need tweaking. Um, Nothing, nothing major. It's kind of just tweaking number values, um, and one mechanic we kind of decided we weren't really happy with. So, went back to the drawing board a little bit with it, and hopefully, I'll, I'll have it done by next playtest. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, at, at the moment now, it's just really it's number tuning and making sure you know we can do it. And once we can do it, we times all the numbers by ten, um, and then players can do it. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it, realistically, it's number tweaking now. Um, we made the decision to not bring players in uh, to uh, play test it for us and work out the numbers. We're, we're really like pushing hard number-wise. You know, we're, we're going to get it right. We're going to tweak it. We're going to play the mechanics over and over and over again. It's like, okay, what situation would you know defensive abilities be used here? What situation uh, would they do if they skip this mechanic? Um, really, really breaking it down each mechanic saying, okay, what are the, what are the outcomes, what are the success states, what are the fail states, and like, as I said, breaking it down as much as we can, you know, refining their numbers so we can properly get it right for release. And, you know, not having players in means there's no chance of, unless someone internal leaks, or split, yeah, um, there's no chance of anyone getting an advantage on release. So when it goes out, everyone will be throwing themselves at it. No, no idea what's, what's coming. You're gonna die a lot. I can assure I can assure you of that. You will die a <laughs> you will die a ton. Um, it's end game. Super excited. But yeah, like at the moment, it's it's really like refining, tweaking, um, and duo mode. It will be out for uh, launch, but sadly we can't we can't give a date. I know a lot of people are expecting it in yeah. March. Um, as I said, uh, hit some bumps in the road. If you're gonna blame anyone, fire it at me. Um, I'll happily reply to your tweet. Um, but yeah, just let's be patient. Obviously, you don't want something on to come out and it be broken. It's a boss fight. If anyone gains any unfair advantages, it's, not, it's never good. Um, QA is uh, currently we're very light on QA, and as it's a boss, we need seven. We need seven, you know, people yeah. to be able to throw themselves at it over and over and over again. Um, but yeah, like as as I said, like, we've got to we kind of got to get this right. Um, it's a boss, the numbers have to be perfect, don't want any game breaking bugs on release, so like quality over how soon you get it really. And that was that that right there was the defining factor in Clue Scrolls yep. and Deep Sea Fishing. Yep. Like, which I think I can speak and say they have gone incredibly well. So that we, attitude I think is the best way to go about this. We've, we've definitely we've definitely turned it around like internally, yeah. like like everyone's feeling really good. The quality of our the stuff we're putting out is, you know, phenomenal. Obviously, some bugs are going to slip through. If you know the games industry, it happens with everything. Um, obviously, some people give QA a lot of flack. It's it's really like not their fault. 
stuff happens. Um, but yeah, like we're really pushing pushing the bar with quality. We want to be getting things right. Um, so yeah, just patience is kind of what we're asking for. Um, yeah. Awesome. All right, one last thing. Um, you obviously just hit 10K followers on Twitter. As a result, you tweeted out a bit of a teaser. Yeah. Uh, is there anything more you want to elaborate upon that picture, or are you going to just let speculation? Um, uh, are you going to just let speculation go for it? I think I'll let speculation go through it. I think the one thing I did reply was that purple hit splat isn't a heel. It's right. something something we'll new. See if we can get them up on screen. Oh, yeah, we're going to see if we can bring up the pictures. Cool. Okay, cool. Um, we'll yeah, see. If you bring don't bring follow me on Twitter, hit me up. <laughs> if you don't follow me, um, make sure you follow. Stop me. rubbing your thigh. Sorry. <laughs> 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 oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. All right. Um, we're going to see if we can get up these images and just. <laughs> oh, Raman, every time we're on the stream, it's always okay. a highlight of some sort. Yeah. Um, I think these playtests have been really useful for us, though, right? Yeah. So, like, we've never. We've done six now? Yeah. We're on number six, and we're probably. We're just. Every Monday, we get in a room, we talk about it. Um, we do a run. We talk about how the run went, and then we're like, okay, what mechanic do we need to break down? So, today, we were breaking down. Uh, a mechanic, we're going over it, over it, over it, making sure, you know, that nothing will really go wrong. Is it telegraphed well enough? Um, I'm not I'm not seeing the chat. Keep rubbing that thigh. All right. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at the chat, just oh, telling you geez. to rub your thighs. <laughs> but yeah, just... <laughs> Jed, yeah, let's, let's, <laughs> let's show them, John. All right, so, uh, oh, using the Twitter media preview as well. Oh. So this is the first one with uh, the purple uh, effects. Um, and we're at the second one. And obviously, as you mentioned, purple hit splat is not a heel. Is that correct? It's not a heel. Right. Cool. Um, but there's nothing else you want to elaborate upon that. Um, I've th that last one you saw. I've described previously on a stream. Um, okay. Obviously, the narrative behind it has changed, but no. Okay. Nothing more I want to elaborate. Just it's it's coming along really nicely. Uh, the narrative, that, like the way we've approached this, having a story-driven fight as opposed to as I've said in previous streams, like just hit a big rock and it falls uh, with a hammer, um, or hit a big spider and it gets eaten by another spider, or you know, <laughs> they, they they all have their own narrative. It's just this one is very, it has a story and you play through the story as you play through the fight. So hopefully, you will be able to do it. Duo modes coming on nicely. Can't wait for duo mode. If I'm honest with you, I think yeah. it's gonna be awesome. Um, uh, I, I, yeah, I can't wait for it. It's gonna be amazing. I was, amazing. I was worried I wouldn't be able to get it out for release, but you know, as dates are up in the air, it's like, yeah. Oh, well, you said you were ninety nine percent sure you can make it happen. So always, always got to leave yourself one. percent <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Otherwise, the pitchforks and the talk. <laughs> 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 and I don't want that. Um, oh man. Yeah, like super, super happy. Um, just awesome. Yeah, once again, just patience. And oh, you sound so emotional. It's amazing. I think it's amazing. I, I, I love I, it I when. Just, just, I, yeah, like I've. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I want it. I want it to be really good. I want it to be yeah, of course. Quality, quality really does come first. Um, yeah, never, never rush anything. I think, I think they can see that as well. And I think again, deep sea fishing and close scroll was an indication yeah. of that. Uh, right, all right. So remarkably, time has really shot by. So we got quite a bit more to go through. So we'll speed this up a little bit. I'm gonna go join Mod Mohawk on the PCs because we're about to go show a sprint fair. So let's go do it. Hi everyone. <laughs> you to start off with I'm subbing in for a mod Krista today because she can't be here so I have a list of all the things I'm supposed to be saying but if I miss anything um, send her a tweet and I'm sure she'll be more than happy to, to clarify anything um, hi Shawnee hello how's it going good so um, this was shown in BTS um, mm -hmm. in its um, form so let's just get into it straight away so Sprint Fair if people uh, if some people hadn't taken part in it last year mm -hmm. what is the Sprint Fair um, so the Spring Fair is an event which runs for, I think we're running it for just o under a month. Yes, we're running it for just under a month this year. Um, and it's basically an event that takes place in Lumbridge Crater, where you can come and get some XP and get some new cosmetics. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. We have lots of varying activities that you can do for lots of different types of XP. So that's good. Has, it, has any of this changed since uh, the last iteration? Uh, yes. So... The biggest change that I should note is that you no longer need tokens to uh, do any of the rides. It is entirely, um, free, it's basically a free for all. Nice. Um, you can do what you want whenever you want it. Um, and you no longer need to earn tickets to buy the cosmetics. You can instead, you get them as drops um, whilst 
playing things in the in the fair area. So you no longer well, the fact there's no more tokens that is that's a significant change. I mean, that's yeah. awesome. That's yeah. absolutely awesome. So uh, that's really hype actually, because that means what we should see is uh, so many people yeah, just flood in and take yeah. part in the content. So um, just before we jump into it, um, so you mentioned obviously you can do your skill and everything else. Skill pets and combat pets, are they uh, av available from this? I don't think so. This um, is one of those questions I think obviously yeah. might be cut out, I apologise. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think so. We don't normally give them from events like this okay. just because of the, the AFK nature of them. Um, but throw Krista a tweet or a message or maybe uh, Jagex Jam either because he curated. Uh, in regards to Iron Man, uh, any restrictions on Iron Man in this content? As they were last year. So free reign, I believe. I think they I had think access so. to everything, if top mem uh, memory serves me correctly. So I believe that might be the case. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, I can see you have tokens in your backpack. I do. We have to go through these. I guess these are rewards. Yeah, these are sort. the new rewards. All right, what we got? Um, so first off, we have a Huck -a Duck Flail. So I'm just going to activate that, um, which is a override. Um, do, 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 whip, 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 whip. Da, 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 da. Here we go. So, this is the Huckaduck flail. It's uh, <laughs> so you can now use a Huckaduck as a whip, yes, right? Okay, everybody, everybody yep. wants to do that, Every, yeah, so that's great. Okay. Um, that's been my dream since I was little, anyway. <laughs> um, there we have. <laughs> A, this is one of my favorite. This is a fish in a bag. Fish in a bag okay. token, right. So I remember getting a fish in a bag when I was, um, when I used to go to the fair when I was little. And it died after like two weeks, so now I get to keep one forever. <laughs> you um, didn't have to say it died. <laughs> Jeez. So here we go. Here's the little. That's the fish in the bag. That's he's really little, cool. He's, he's swimming around in there. I presume that's not a weapon. That's just a. a no, right, no, okay. no. So this is similar to the um, golden cane and things like that we have, yep. which come with a unique uh, walkover right whilst you wield it. Uh, but yeah, you can't go into combat with it, so you can't go around hitting people around the face <laughs> with <laughs> the fish in the bag. Um, yep, yeah, I'm gonna skip that one because that one's one of my favourites. I'm gonna go to this one, which is the Easter the egg Easter hat. Easter egg hat. Yes. Oh. Uh, again, it's a wardrobe override. Uh, so let me just flip, flip, flip. What's a flip? Um, flip to this. Um, I can't spell. It's because everybody's watching there you me. Go. <clears throat> Here's the Easter egg hat. <laughs> and she's pretty snazzy. It's just an Easter egg hat on your head. It used to be, so the nose guard used to be incredibly long and used to come down to like here. And it was very. Um, Mmm, phallic, shall we say. Um, so we got rid of it. We cut, we, no, don't say cut, no, stop it. Um, yeah, so yes, we changed it. I uh, just hear JD <laughs> laughing in the background. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Control yourself, JD. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> um, so that's the, that's the Easter egg hat. Then we have, I'm going to do this one. This is a dizzy stick token, um, which again is a, another held item. Um, so if I just throw that on. It's a dizzy stick. Oh, jeez. Okay. And then, and then let me walk first. I'll put the walk on first. And then obviously you're very, very dizzy, so you're going to be like... <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And then we'll do the run. It doesn't fall over. You can't run after, doing the, after spinning it on a dizzy I stick, I mean, surely. maybe my character is better at this than you are. Uh, maybe, I guess. Yes. <laughs> uh, Jesus. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, okay, we'll wow. move on swiftly, shall wow. we? Um, there's also... It lit sorry, lit hold on a second. Is it, it must be like, an, uh, this must be in the guidelines of joining Jagex now. If you're on a stream with Shawnee, like find any doing? way to literally <laughs> roast him. Honestly. What the, <laughs> the hell? We all love you. This is how we show that we love you. Oh boy. All right. Uh, yeah, let's do uh, it. Okay, so we have the Dizzy Stick teleport, which I'm not going to show. I'll show in the, the preview actually. Oh, it's so the animation. Yeah, so it's a teleport. Do, do, do. Oh, I always forget which one it's in. Spell. Spell. Doop, 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 stick, teleport. Oh my god, just spin around. Spin, spin, and then... <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, oh, that, that, that's pretty yeah. awesome. Um, so that's, that's the teleport. Um, we have face paints as well. I'm not going to show them because they're still a little bit... Work in progress? Yes, there's still a little bit whip, um, so I don't want to ruin it by yep. giving you some naff images of it, but there are three different types of face paints that you can choose from. Do you know the types? Um, there is Cathixian Butterfly, um, Cat, and some flowers. Okay. okay. Um, 
Okay, so next I'm going to show you this one. So the this Easter egg Easter follower egg pet. Follower. Um, so let me just activate that. <clears throat> and I'll grab him for you. So it's called Eggos. 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 Is he having a moat? It's called Eggos. Do they have an emote? I think so. A da -da -da. <laughs> da -da -da. Little Legos. Oh, that's so cute. That's actually that's ah, pretty amazing. I better go play the fair then, aren't you? That's amazing. Um, okay, I'll try and interact with them. They have an emote. Okay, what have we got? So they balance up. <laughs> and then fall over. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. So that's those guys. Um, and then finally. My favoritest of all of the of the rewards. We have a Zoltan plushie. So Do the Zoltan, Zoltan from last year who would give out the misfortunes. Yeah, let me see if I can find him. He's, he's around here somewhere. Just down there, I believe, if I remember says correctly. Uh yep, there he is. So this was the this is this is the Zoltan machine. He used to give out misfortunes. Uh, I don't know if we, if we ever disclose this, but he was based on somebody that used to work here. He was very happy. No, I don't think I don't, I don't think we disclose that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, right. So then we have the uh, plushie itself, which I am sure he will be absolutely loving that we've made him into a cute little plushie. There we go. Oh God. Oh, that's awesome. Ta -da. So, um, couple. So just a. Uh, reiterate a couple things. First of all, yep. tokens you no longer need. You can literally go and do yep. whichever activity you want when yep. you want. Um, there's a random chance that you can end up on one of those tokens as a drop. Yes, uh, they are still available for rune coins if you do so wish, but you can just get them as a random drop, which is good. Awesome. Um, uh, tradable tokens? Yes, they are tradable. Yes. Cool. Uh, there's a couple of other things. So if you played last year, you remember that you could get fortunes from Crystalline, who's actually right here, or you could get um, scavenger hunt lists as well. Um, we've changed this this time, so you can't just get them whenever you want. They are also drops as you're scaling in the fair. So the okay, yep, cool, yeah, yep. Um, if you have a spare one left in your inventory by the time the fair ends, um, or an active fortune, we'll be really nice and we'll just reward you for for trying, for really trying, and we'll give you the equivalent prize even though you haven't accomplished it, but only for one. So this is to stop people when the fair ends, they, they're not stuck with the icon on their bar, and then they have to try and figure out yeah, when to click. Yeah, okay, cool. it's just a little extra reward for everybody as well. Awesome. Um, and then, doo -doo -doo, the Claudia machine, which, if you remember from last year, was quite expensive in terms of tokens, and you could probably only do it like twice a day. It's just to do over here. Um, you can now do that once a day. Awesome. Oh, there we go. So literally, someone just asked about Claudia's machine, so good timing on that one. Yeah. Uh, pass tokens, are they available from this? Yes, they will be. Nice. Cool. All right, so there you go. Um, again, the biggest highlight, just to reiterate, is that you do not no longer need any tokens, which, oh, actually, now I have to ask this question. Happy hour, is that still going to be a thing? That is still a thing. That yeah. is still a thing. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. It gives a 10% XP boost for um, all the generic... XP gaining things, so it wouldn't be for the fortune teller or uh, the scavenger list or for Claudia. Yep. But everything else will be a ten percent boost, and it's the same times as last year as well. So we haven't changed up the schedule at all. Awesome. All right, there you go. So uh, in a nutshell, that is uh, the sprint fair right there. But uh, as Mod Mohawk mentioned, if you have any questions, feel free to tweet at Jagex Krista, who will uh, get back to you when she can, and will be more than happy, I imagine, to share whichever, whatever she can regarding yep. this project. Absolutely. Always a favorite of hers, I believe. Mm -hmm. Uh, apart from that, is there anything else? Uh, I don't think so. I think I covered any everything. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to come back to the couch uh, for the final little section on the stream, and then we'll get ready to wrap up. So uh, thanks again, Mohawk. That's all right. Let's do it. Uh, you guys need to talk. You can't, like, come on. No. No, no talk. We will <laughs> sit in silence and judge. Hey, the what up? It's Timbo. I, I got the iPad oh. this time. Hi, Timbo. All right. Oh, man. So, uh, Timbo, you are a prime... Uh, section of the stream when you come on here because it's always doing ninja like a prime cut of cut of beef there you go yeah so ninja what have we got for ninja projects oh he's got his phone he's got his phone out with the projects yeah them. i'm getting my uh Just playing rs mobile <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right i've got everything i've got so much stuff yes it's all on my phone so we can talk about it right first of all you'll be able to hand in noted uh, seals at Pyramid Plunder to recharge your scepters. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Just stop me if you want to talk about anything mm -hmm. in detail. Yeah, yeah, by all means. <laughs> um, we're also adding uh, overrides for achieving diary equipment. 
So Fallout or Shield now. and Fallout or Shield and stuff like that. Yeah. Nice. So Fallout or Shield, That's Spartan awesome. your legs, all that stuff. Uh, once awesome. you earn, once you earn them, you be able to automatically unlock them as cosmetic That's, overrides. That's awesome. If you have any overridden right now with keepsake keys, we're going to refund you the keepsake key as well. Yes. That is, uh, I almost said, uh, a good something. But, um, <laughs> that's good That's good stuff. That's good stuff, that is. Well, that is some good task. Uh, um, yikes. Uh, we adding uh, the ability to show progress on the Shadow Cause achievement. Oh, God, Earth. yes. Oh, my God. I hate that. Because people who know I, what that is, no, Johnny knows. No, I know what that achievement is. Yeah, I'm just saying some people might not know what it is. Clip that audio because lit. Because literally, like, I remember doing seven cores, completely forgetting about the achievement, coming back to the game uh, to do that achievement like six months later. I had no idea how many I had done, so I had no idea how many cores I had to gather up or anything. So something like that is going to be so handy to have. Nice. Do you have a comp cape yet? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I haven't got Golden Warden either. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you can play this game. <laughs> <laughs> Still getting this oh, you're welcome for the abuse. Just, just carry on. Just, just carry on. Um, we're adding keybinds for the G interface, so you'll be able to uh, collect from the buy or sell slots, and also collect all to inventory or all to bank. So those are going to be keybindable on that interface. Yes. Oh, nice. Premium. Very nice. Uh, and then all the stuff we showed at the showcase is still a thing. So favorited French so, chat. Yeah, I'll go through the list now. Oh, so sorry, my bad. Left click on boats up on Relica, so you can left click to go to. Miscellaneo uh, and Esoteria. Esoteria? Exoteria? Exoteria. Yeah, Exoteria. Uh, yeah, that, that thing. Um, and the other places you go to boats. Um, lots of pirate quality of life stuff. So, removed options on damage farming patches and rum deal. Uh, you can repair easy on cabin fever and that sort of malarkey. Ready for pieces of hate. I think it goes out the same time as pieces of hate, maybe? I believe the uh, QOL stuff is. Uh, the, it's, we might be live. It's week before. It's yeah, coming up. Before. It's Sunday, definitely yeah. coming up. Oh, it's coming in that, that update. Yeah, yep. cool. Uh, yeah, favorite friends chats that we showed before. That's so the ability to favorite up to five friends chats and then select them in a menu uh, when you want to enter them. Uh, it's important to note that your last friends chat is still there in the enter thing. So if you don't want to use the new, new thing, you can still use the old, oh, I entered this blah, blah, blah last time. Uh, boss health bar for KBD and Joint Mole. Uh, you can use the coal bag and deposit boxes to empty them, because yep. we couldn't get uh, we couldn't get it to work. So you right click on the coal bag and then deposit in the face. So now if you just use the coal bag when it's full on a deposit box, it will deposit everything inside. Tackle boxes can now store stackable urns. Um, that tree has been removed at the incandescent colony. That tree, <laughs> yep. That annoying tree, yep. That yep. tree. That tree. That. Tree. Um, the one that you always click and end up wondering why you've got logs in the inventory. Uh, added a string bowstring spell to the Lunar Spellbook. Yep. Uh, making enduring glaze sites aggressive like the others. Oh, making God. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's good. Uh, making men menophyte gift offerings stackable. That's, that's So f smalls will stack with smalls, mediums will stack with mediums, larges will stack with larges. And adding the config ops to divination rifts. So you can... Oh, left that's the primo one. Yeah, so you can configure, do I want to left click... Uh, Enhanced throw, experience. Throw it in for... Normal, enhanced, or energy. And that just stays there forever. So whenever you click it, you just get the same one. Correct. Oh, much hype. And that is pretty much like one tenth of the Ninja Fix is coming out in, in, in March. <laughs> oh. Um, I'm going to mention, uh, I'm going to throw it over to you again because I, I feel, believe there's something you want to talk about. Uh, about, do I? about uh, do you, we talked oh, about yeah. this before I came down. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to chat about it a little bit? Uh, yeah, sure. So um, if you remember last year, we didn't do Game Blast, but we did do the RuneScape Game Jam. We're doing the RuneScape Game Jam again this year, uh, but we're doing it in April. So it's not coming out in, in March, but... we um, be nice to mention ahead of time so people... But can yeah, um, exactly. the one of the things that we noticed last year that we didn't do very well was get player ideas. Mm. So like, one, a lot of the stuff, a lot of us worked on the Game Jam last year here on the couch, actually. Um, we did a lot of cool stuff, like Luxury Work, Lumbridge Crater, Musical Raids. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Um, not a lot of it was player driven, which I think yeah. um, was a bit of a shame. I mean, Lumbridge Crater actually was. Yeah, that was uh, I'd say Luckery Work was. That was ramen driven. But it wasn't a player originated <laughs> idea. No, that's true. Okay, yeah. Mm. Um, like, we did have a lot, we, we generally did a lot of Discord stuff and a lot of like yeah. publishing disc and that. It was but, awesome. Like, it was a really good time. Like, yeah. But like, I, um, this, so this time around, I really want to get um, like some proper player originated ideas. Yeah. So um, uh, we'll probably coordinate with CM and Social about getting like Reddit threads, just basically. Just at me at Jagged's Timbo, 
um, a bunch of ideas <laughs> Plug. Um, for the for the Gaia Exchange game. Um, it's worth noting we won't do like major projects. So think things like that are small, like like rework, like Lumbridge Crater, like changing the backgrounds of. Um, Eat Modesty did the change in the background. Uh, login screens, yeah. Yeah, the login screens and stuff like that. I think very small things like Don't that. Don't think new quests, for example. But yeah. New, new skills. New quests, new raids, new, new skills. Like, they're not things we're going to do in a weekend. <laughs> um, yeah. Pretty much. Um, but Be realistic. Things, yeah, small things like that, definitely, for sure. Um, think... In fact, just come up with ideas for new alchemical onyx jewelry. Jesus. <laughs> That's all we've been talking about for the last like two days. That and deep sea fishing. <laughs> if, if anyone pitches a really good alchemical onyx jewelry thing, I will dev it for Game Jam. There you go. There you go. Got a commitment right there. Someone will um, come up with something. Yeah, imagine. so Game Jam, 13th of April. 13th uh, of April, okay. That weekend. Friday the 13th. Perfect time. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah. A lovely, lovely timing for that one. Um, Spooky. <laughs> Um, bit of a general question here, um, so anyone ch uh, jump on this. Uh, where is the Easter event? We had a small one last year and there was se seemingly no sign of it this year either. Uh, I believe Spring Fair? I think Spring Fair is. Yeah, yeah I, think I think Spring Fair is. And the no tokens, I presume, is kind of meant to tie in with. Yeah, so yeah, yeah Fair's more Eastery. We're also bringing back Gothic, Gothic, Gothic's Butterflies for our own in law Easter event. Rip so Gothics, five Friday years ago Gothics. yesterday. Spoilers. Five years ago yesterday. I think it was yesterday. There you go. Uh -huh. but yeah, the Gothic butterflies are our way of remembering Gothics in game. Awesome. Um, got a question here, which is, oh boy, uh, what is the plan for four tick auto attacking? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, run away. <sighs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm still I've on screen. It. I got it. I'm out. Right. <laughs> Three members of the comment. I'm not. Four members of the comment. I'm not actually. expecting. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great game. That is a clip and a gif there in a nutshell, actually. Um, I'm not expecting a full answer, I guess. It's just, I mean, it's still a topic that comes basically up. Basically, we saw the tepid response to the blog and have sort of gone back to the drawing board yeah. a little bit. Um, um, we yeah, still want to address four, four tick auto attacking. It, ha it, kinda, it it's, has to be addressed. Um, go on. We're going to do something before Solak at the very least. Okay. Um, the, so the. Stuff we put out before was very mixed. Uh, I don't think anyone really liked the main. I like the word tepid. Tepid. <laughs> sure. Uh, I don't think anyone really liked the mage ones. We're going to go back to the drawing board on that one. Uh, it was fairly pointed out about the daggers not uh, going out separately from weapon diversity. So I think we'll just pull that back into that. Uh, and the range one, I think we're still like, but. Probably we, not for Solar. Yeah, uh, it's, it's definitely one we like. Um, I mentioned it on the stream a while back and players pointed it out. I didn't realise that John hadn't communicated it to the to the players. So I was like, oh, right, okay. oh yeah, the ability's not happening. Um, not saying it's not happening. Um, probably won't happen with Solak. Um, but yeah, they, as as Timbo said, like reactions were mixed. And as I said earlier in the um, in the stream, like we got, we we want to start getting things right. Mm. Yeah. Like I remember way back in the day, like void tweak, 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 buff, debuff, buff, and it was just getting it wrong all the time. And eventually, we hit that sweet spot. Kind of want to hit that sweet spot straight away. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. a big conversation. It's it's definitely a big conversation. It's a it's a big thing, and it does have to be addressed. Um, just patience. It's always top of our list in our in our meetups. Yeah, it's. It's a it's a hot topic, a tepid project. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not tepid. It's not tepid. That's the thing. Um, all right, um, John, are we okay to show this image? Um, okay, so I've got to give um, a massive kudos to Ninja because um, Thanks, something uh, that is about to come up on screen is something that's been asked for years, and uh, it's something that they will be working on after it goes through an engine code review. And uh, I'll uh, let the image tell the story. So uh, let's bring it up. I'm sure you can figure out straight what that what that means. Essentially, this is a proof of concept. But what it now means is that, uh, courtesy, uh, I do not know their mod name uh, from Engine, unfortunately. But the Engine team have found the time to do clan broadcasts, uh, which will be taken on by Ninja, because well, what? Are you looking? Nothing. 
I just, I just want to subscribe to Shawnee Facts now to see that. <laughs> Shawnee, <laughs> Shawnee Two yeah. Facts. Oh, Shawnee Two Facts. Um, but yeah, they found the time to do it, and um, Ninja are going to be the team taking it on once it's done in Engine. So I uh, give the shout outs to Ninja and the Engine team because it is going to be awesome when it arrives. Um, Let's go, Ninja. Hmm? Let's go, Ninja. Let's go, Ninja. Yeah. yeah. Let's go, Ninja. <laughs> no, um, and I, I think in a nutshell as well, actually, what I love is. You mentioned earlier around the office, like there's a general buzz oh, like, like, right yeah. now, and seeing, it's just we're just getting stuff done. It's seeing amazing. some of the rea- like the player reaction to um, clue Fishing, scrolls, deep sea, fishing. Mm. deep sea fishing. Like obviously, 2017 was a mixed bag, and you know we had a, we had a, some negatives, we had some positives, um, and yeah, we turned around and said 2018, let's you know let's nail it, and we really have so far, and we kind of want to keep this momentum. Yeah. There's there's a good good buzz in the office, and yeah, it kind of we all, we bounce off each other and everyone sort of brings each other up. So. Yeah, I'm super excited for Piece of Hate to yes, leaping smash it. Yeah, like no pressure. So you just, <laughs> like, <laughs> I just literally stop and, yeah. and try to replace later, later this month. There's no pressure. You wanna... guys, you guys have smashed it. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, yeah it's a, hopefully it's really <laughs> we like really it. Really cool. Like, <laughs> um, like our series of content right now is incredible. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I'm really excited to keep the train running effectively. Like so, not stopping, keep going, keep, like keep this level of quality, this level of, of excitement, engagement. Try and keep it going for the rest of the year. I mean, there'll be some off weeks, but I'll man, see. this is great. I love this genuinely. <laughs> I mean, we shouldn't be slapping like, ourselves in the back. No, that we, sh- much, no, we should. Like, but <laughs> when we let's let's do a let's look back really quickly before we end the stream, right? So we come back to August 2017. Mm-hmm. We were in unfinished business. We had just come off the Menafoss expansion development phase. Yep. We were pretty much all over the place in trying to get projects out, and it it caught us out. It caught up to us. Yeah. And now we've been able to show as we come out of unfinished business what we can do with stuff. Well, like this. it was it was the what, transition from expansion. Yeah. As well. yeah. That, yeah. That's what really. Business. What what we're seeing now is is the fruit of that transition. Yeah. Yes. Is 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 finally is out of after Menafoss and expansion stuff and cancelling the second expansion us going into these new teams this new setup uh, and clearing unfinished business and now getting clues a piece of hate like this reprioritized um, work working on what players want being player centric getting that stuff out there we're now seeing it come out with all these cool updates and we're going to be and that's the sort of thing we want to keep doing. Like this is the, yeah. this is the reason why we restructured this their is the passion is it. also a massive thing like the, if, the, if a dev wants to work on an update because you know when a, a dev works on an update they want to work on you know, they, they properly give their all, you know, they, they're always thinking about it at home, in the shower, on the way to work. <laughs> uh, in bed. In bed. Yeah. You, know, you wake up at 1am, you, you text yourself, you're like, make Solak do this or something, I don't know. Um, but like, yeah. that, that's, that's the kind of way we, we went. We started giving the devs the projects they want to do, like Pieces of Hate. I don't know if you, you, you wanted to do that, you love it. Um, <laughs> but I, I got Solak and Ryan, you know, he's got his skilling stuff. It's, it's really cool. It's really awesome. Yeah. And now, and now we're in that process. We're in that rhythm. We're going to keep it up for the rest of the year. Yeah, we're just going to keep the train rolling, as you said, yeah. and just smash it, which we're going to do. Um, so, yeah, it's hype, really. Uh, I think apart from that, uh, that brings us to the end. As an overview, just to give you a heads up in case you missed some of it, we started the stream off with Mod Yago and Mod Ryan as we went through their deep-sea fishing content and uh, obviously checked out the hub. Looks absolutely incredible. And that update, of course, went live yesterday. And if you've not checked it out already, please do. It's awesome. Then came over to Mod Raven and Mod KOC as we talked about Pieces of Hate and the Horrors update. And then I went over to Mod Raven, so about Group Iron Man and Solak, then Mod Mohawk for Sprint Fair, then Timbo for Ninja, and then we kind of just had a little bit of a, uh, in my opinion, a very inspirational and positive chat. <laughs> so uh, I love it. And for people, because uh, I know people upstairs are watching this, be happy and keep smashing it. There's an inspiration <laughs> speech for you. Very short and sweet. Um, apart from that, though, honestly, uh, I, you know, I'm just I'm happy as all hell right now because of how much of Smash Day we just got to keep yeah. up with it, really. Also, apologise to the guys behind the scenes for staying over late as well. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. Much love to do. <laughs> oh, one more I've got for you. I can't remember a mod name. Uh, degraded Dust Dog Manables. Yes. We held off on ice yes. because of Ice Dies. Now Ice Dies are out. I can smash that out. And uh, I will stipulate I'm finishing Pirate Quest. Yeah, first. of course. Uh, Please Priorities. Um, <laughs> but yeah, then we'll get uh, Degraded Dust Dog Manable repairs. So as a quick... Uh, reminder that is essentially allowing you to combine them and uh, keep so the yeah up, once right? your de- once your augmented degraded dust gets down to totally uncharged use a fresh one on it or a half charged one it'll transfer all the charge over and you'll keep this the best item xp of the two yeah yep. so obviously that means you can keep your level 20 keep your empowered perks yep. etc and you get all your uh, all your bonuses 
for pretty much everything. That's what you're going to be known for right now, Ramen, unfortunately. Well, so the rub, fire rub. Rubbing the leg, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just give you a cheek. Oh, victory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just say you're barbering. Just all in, just rubbing the thigh. You can all barber with the thigh if you want. Nah. Oh, my God. Let's <laughs> end. <laughs> and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to get ready to end the stream, but thank you so much for joining us, and we'll be back uh, in uh, next week. But as a reminder, when this stream ends, Loot uh, Lootscape will run, and you'll get a I remember this time. You, um, you left, remind, I didn't do it. Don't remind me on Twitter. I didn't do yes. it. <laughs> Thank you to I Am Curious on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when Leadscape runs, uh, you'll get an elite, uh, you'll get a clue scroll that corresponds to your total level. If you get an elite, there is a chance it might become a master. So let us know Ooh. if you get a master. And good we luck. We have more days if you get a master. We'll, we'll be hosting gym source after this. And we are going to host Gym Source just as we end the stream. But apart from that, thank you so much for joining us. It has been a pleasure. Take care and have a good one. Bye. Bye.